it's faster, adrenaline pumped, and lets you become your favorite football icon each game you play. Take a look. <laughs> Simply put, the fastest growing sport in the world. It's a smaller sided format of your traditional football, played on an 18 by 32 meter pitch, which you can see right behind us here. Very similar to traditional football rules, um, the biggest difference being the slight tackling aspect. Uh, that's to keep players safe while they're on the pitch. Um, I would say your, your biggest difference is in terms of touches. Um, players are far more active in a game. You might find a scenario where you have your centre back scoring the majority of the goals in your game because it's such a small area to cover. So it allows players to play in different positions throughout the game and just gives you better exposure to all the different positions. We started up at, at Marks Park about three and a half years back. Extremely successful. We were able to fill up within, I think it was about two weeks, um, with limited advertising. So there's a lot of excitement around the sport. I think, I think for kids, you know, with, with watching the Premier League being so popular in South Africa, um, it's a good time to come out once a week with their mates, take out a bit of their frustration, score some goals, and then maybe go for a drink at our bar. So we run um, coaching clinics from the age of two years to six years on a Sunday. Um, and then during the week, every day of the week, we've got our super sports soccer schools clinics, which uh, take care of children from the age of six all the way up until 15. And then we get into the big leagues, our nightly leagues, and that's anybody 16 years and up. Um, we run leagues each night, a Premier League and a Division One on each evening. And uh, we've got players all the way from 16 up until 65 years old in our veteran league. So uh, really, a sport for everybody. A nice game. It was it was a it was a tight one. Um, we were a little bit unprepared, unfortunately. But I must say, I'm very proud of our team. We did we did step up, considering we were short players. Um, in the end, we could say we could say had we had our team, I feel confident we could have actually it would have been a closer game. We're not professionals, so we come here once a week. No training or anything, so we, we only have to commit to going to training and then matches on the weekend. I mean, they're missing out on a lot of fun. Um, there's, uh, you're never too, too old to learn, um, a trick or two. And I started counting uh, my steps and calories as well. So I enjoyed uh, tracking my, my steps and my, my fitness. You're looking at eight players per team, five players on the pitch at any given time, a goalkeeper and four outfield players with three rolling subs. Um, the subs can come on throughout the game, different to normal football, you can go off and then come on later in the game. It's all played outdoor. Generally, I think we've got maybe one arena in the country which is indoor. The biggest difference you find is that we call it indoor football when in fact it's played outdoor. The indoor refers to the fact that um, the arena is enclosed and the ball hardly goes out. What we do have is a sister sport which is very similar. Um, called futsal. Um, the sport in terms of play is, is similar in the sense that most of the rules are the same as outdoor football, however there's a big difference in the turf. You are not allowed to pass above the knee, so the ball is not allowed to go over your knee, which changes the game completely. Whereas in five-a-side football, though, there's far less rules around that, far less restrictions. Um, and, and the biggest aspect is really the facility cost. Um, to run an outdoor arena like we do here uh, is, is uh, very, very popular with, with a lot of our players simply because it's more accessible. The two sports are completely different, but both share the fact that they're fantastic versions of football. The sport has become a lot more popular with women. We're seeing a lot more participation. So this year will be the launch of our mixed league, as well as our ladies only league. Um, so those are two very exciting things coming up. We'd like to get the ladies down to the arena as well. 
we're also looking at at different opportunities with regards to sponsorship and potentially getting our five-a-side football brand online so broadcasting uh, definitely an option for this year and something we're taking a close look at sign up is extremely simple get eight mates together simply go onto our website www.urbansports.joburg register your team and we'll contact you within 48 hours um, our league manager will contact you in order to place you on your preferred night and we take it from there see you at our arena Yo, what's up? It's Euphonic and you are watching Joburg Today.